Hi, in this demo, we are going to see how we can create a VM instance on VirtualBox on Linux machine. Let's start the VirtualBox. Select New. You need to give a name to the instance. Let's give it Ubuntu underscore VM. Click on Next. You can change the memory which you want to give to the VM. Let's change it to 1024 MB. You now have to select the hard disk for the VM. You can create a new hard disk. Choose existing one or choose nothing for now. Just create a new hard disk. Click on create. You have to now select the hard disk type. For now, let's just select the VDI. The hard disk can be dynamically allocated or can be a fixed sized. Just select dynamically allocated for now. Click on next. You now have to give the file name and the location of the virtual hard disk file. You can change its size as well. So just change the size and click on create. Now our basic setup is ready for the VM. Now we have to select the ISO from which we want to install the OS. Let's go to settings, general and storage. Click on controller ID and select the Ubuntu ISO. To start the VM by clicking on the start button. Our VM would now boot from the ISO which we have provided. As we can see, our VM is now booting. It gives us option to try Ubuntu Live or install Ubuntu on the disk. While doing the installation, we can install the updates for the packages or use third party packages. We just continue without them right now. We have to select the installation type. Here we are selecting it is disk and install Ubuntu. Click on install now. Installer has created some partition scheme. It is asking us to confirm that. We can review and click on continue. We can now select the time zone, click on continue. We can choose our keyboard layout and click on continue. We now have to create a user using which we can log into the instance. We have to choose the password for the user as well. After creating the password, let's just click on continue. Installer now would copy some file and do the installation. It is now doing the post installation steps like creating the grub entries and so on. Our installation is not done. We need to restart the machine or the VM. Click on restart now. After the installation, our VM would boot from the hard disk. Our VM is now booted. We can choose the user and log into it using the password we have provided earlier. So we have seen the procedure to create a VM using VirtualBox on Linux.